Hello YouTube fam, welcome back to the channel. My name is Mon and today we are doing a faux concrete coffee table using plaster. This is a DIY project I've been dying to make and today I'm finally doing it. Let me just show you my ESPO photos. I actually stumbled upon this coffee table on Pinterest and it was somewhere around I think $3,000. So I decided to just give it a go and try to create it for way less. And it turned out I can create it for close to free. We are diving into this project right away. To make this coffee table you are going to need a few things but I'll share everything along the way. First things first, I already had this coffee table. I actually DIY'd this one for my balcony but I never really felt like it matched my vibes. So today we are using just a round tabletop which is actually a piece of plywood I've cut into a circle. Let's just remove those legs first. And now it's time to bring in our new legs. We will be making these legs out of these two cardboard cylinders. I got these two from my dear, dear friend Kali. Kali, if you're watching this, Thank you so much, girl. However, you can absolutely get cardboard concrete forms instead, or you can even make them out of plastic plumbing pipes. Obviously, we have to make this shorter, so first things first, I'm measuring them and cutting them to size. I decided to cut this down with my handsaw just to show you that you can absolutely do it without using any fancy tools but you can absolutely cut these using a circular saw too. As you can see the struggle is real. <laughs> Now what you see me doing here is just trying out different layouts. I was thinking of adding a fourth leg, but in the end I decided to go for three legs the same as my ESPO photo. Let's mark them before attaching them to the tabletop. You probably will say that I could have come up with a better solution for attaching the legs and you're absolutely right, however hot glue is my best friend when it comes to DIY projects. Or let's just put it this way, hot glue was the only appropriate adhesive I had at home so let's just cross our fingers and hope those legs don't fall off the table. And of course, just a quick pause to let Mars hydrate. He's adorable. And the final step before applying plaster, we are applying our mesh tape. 
I didn't know if I had to add the tape, however I decided to take that extra step just for the tabletop, it's only to prevent the plaster from cracking. On the back side the tape wasn't sticking well, so I hot glue the ends. And now when everything's ready, we are mixing the plaster. There are pre-made plasters, however I like to mix them myself, since that way I can play with the consistency. I honestly started applying it so insecurely, it's hilarious, but I'll get in the groove in a bit. Sit back and enjoy watching me making a mess as I struggle with applying the plaster leg by leg. Now I don't mean to be pushy, but if you like this video so far, please make sure to take a second, subscribe to the channel and hit that like button. My channel is so small at the moment and just by leaving me a like or a comment, you are helping my channel so much. Even if you don't do any of that, just by watching this video, you are directly helping my small channel grow bigger and bigger and I'm forever grateful. Thank you so much. If I can leave you with one piece of advice before making this project, I'll just say trust the process. In projects like this, it's always crucial to trust the process and just know that it has to get worse before it gets better. In the end, what's the worst that can happen? You just start over and try again. So that's exactly what I did. If I didn't like it, I just started over applying one more coat, filling in the gaps and just moving on. Now let's move on to the tabletop. One important thing to remember is that with the first coat we are just trying to cover everything up. With the second coat we'll make sure to make it pretty.
after the legs were dry-ish, I just tried to sand them down a bit and it actually worked and it made them prettier and this technique works amazing. I just scraped away every bump I didn't like and they turned out great. You can absolutely use sandpaper too, however, I just like when things are not that perfect, so I decided to skip that part. At this point, I decided to move the project to my dining table so that I can see everything better. Also, my back started hurting a bit and I repeated the scraping process for the tabletop. And now it's time for the second coat. I made this coat a little bit more watery so that I can smooth it out better and have time to work with the plaster before it starts to dry out. And now when everything's ready, we are leaving it to dry overnight and now I can't wait to show you how my coffee table turned out. Are you ready? I love, love, love how this coffee table turned out. Maybe I'll paint it in the future, but for now I'm keeping it this way. Let me know what you would do in the comment section below. Would you paint it? And if yes, what color? Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on notifications. And I'll see you designers next week. Bye! Thank you.